Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 96. Today we're going to be looking at backface culling. Uh, culling is basically determining whether a polygon is drawn uh, via front or back facing, either, meaning if it's drawn clockwise or it's drawn counterclockwise. So clockwise would be front facing, counterclockwise would be back facing. Um, if it's back facing and it's enabled, those uh, polygons will not be drawn. So as soon as they're not going to be drawn, it'll make rendering faster. So I have some resources here you can check out later. And let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the bottom of our uh, draw function within our cube. So right before we draw, we're going to go ahead and enable culling. Let's go ahead and take a look at the scene as is. So this is the same scene. We have a blended cube over here, a blended cube here, a couple of solid cubes, and uh, everything looks fine and dandy. So if we go ahead and just enable culling, uh, we have three different options. We, first we have to do yes, yes gl enable and enable cull face. And we can go ahead and either uh, cull all of our polygons, just the front ones or the back ones. Obviously if we culled all of the front ones and back, we're not going to end up drawing any objects here. Um, so as my screen refreshes here, so we have no objects. Um, if we go ahead and cull just the front ones, that means only back-facing polygons will be drawn. So this is all of the back sides of the cube. Anything that's facing towards the end user, towards the, the canvas, will not be drawn. So uh, that's kind of interesting to take a look at. Uh, but most common use face is going to be for back-facing ones. So these are ones that are facing away. Um, so when we go ahead and do this, you can see we have everything going nicely. But we have one problem here, which is that these two blended cubes uh, no longer look blended. And the reason for that, of course, is that we're not drawing uh, the back-facing sides of those. So what can we do for this? Well, um, obviously we've thought about this before. So uh, up here in our blending, we're going to go ahead and enable it. And uh, if we're not blending, and we're going to go ahead and do the back here. And so now that we do that, you can see we still have the problem that these aren't done. So what is the problem here? Well, we because it's a state machine, as soon as we enable it, it's always enabled. So we have to disable it every time we have a rendered cube that's uh, being blended and re-enable it every single time we do a, uh, a cube that is not being blended. So now that we do that, we have our two blended cubes here still. And all of these cubes will now no longer be rendering the back sides of the cubes. So. It's a great technique for increasing the speed of your uh, uh, rendering, and it's a great thing to know about anyway. So these little micro-optimizations will help out in the long run, especially as you build up a lot more objects than just a few cubes. Uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you liked what you saw. Uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, if you uh, liked it, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe on YouTube. It would help me a lot. Um, share on social media, if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.